Hello guys, Mika Swagate, this is Shivsai, welcome back to our channel. So guys, in this video, we are going to see flipping bits question from the one month preparation kit, uh, which is from the hacker rank. So let's see the question of the flipping bits. Uh, you will be given a list of 32 bit unsigned integer, flip all the bits, one to zero and zero to one and return the result as an unsigned integer. So let's see, for example, there will be given an n equals to nine. Nine is an integer. So the nine binary number is one zero zero one. So as we are working with the 32 bits, we should write in the format of 32 bits. So the nine should be written in the format of 32 bits, which is uh, all zeros one zero zero one, which means uh, about 28 zeros left to the one zero zero one nine binary number. So as they mentioned, flip all the bits one to zero and zero to one. So here there is a one. So we need to flip to zero, zero. Here it is zero. We need to flip to one, one, zero, one, one, zero. We have we have flipped all the binary numbers into uh, into zero to one or one to zero. We can also call it as one's complement in terms of uh, complement. So we need to print the value of this, the decimal value of this flipped bits. So it will be an integer itself, which means as they already mentioned, 32 bit unsigned integer. It will represent the unsigned integer only. So when it comes to the, so yeah, when it comes to the input, there will be given a three test cases, which means three is nothing but uh, test cases. And these are the three integers we are given. We need to convert into binary and we need to flip the bits and we need to find out the decimal value of the flipped bits and we need to print the value here. So for this one it will be, uh, let's take the one here as the take a, take for one, for example, let's take one, the binary number of one is one. So we need to convert into the binary format, which means, I mean 32 bit binary format. So it will be all zeros and at last it will be one. When we do, flipping when we do flip the bits and which is the ones complement it will convert to the all ones and zeros and it which means the decimal value of this 32 bit uh, binary number is 4294967294 for example it will be zero for example it is is it zero then there will be all zeros then for the ones complement which is a, when we flip the bits we can also call it as a ones complement in the form of uh, complement terms. So all ones, which means the output will be four to nine, four nine six seven nine two five, which is the decimal number of the thirty-two bit binary number. So this is the question. So Surya will explain the problem. Surya will explain the solution. So let's see. Hello guys, I am Surya. As uh, she was said, today we are going to uh, learn the solution of. Uh, Flipping bits question. In order to solve this, let's uh, you have to need some theory. Uh, I will tell you. Suppose we have bit one. If we do exclude your of one with zero, the result will be uh, what will be the result? We will get one because one or zero. If uh, any bit is one and the other bit is zero, then we will get the answer as one. So we can use this property as well as uh, when we have one and when we do exclusive or it with one, then here both bits are same. So exclusive or give, will give the result as zero. So we can use this property to our advantage and we can write the solution for the given question. Suppose in Tn equal to what they have to 9. Okay, another uh, thing I have to mention is that here it is given as 32 bit unsigned integer. 32 bit unsigned inter integer in Java it is not possible to in Java We can't have 32 bit unsigned integer. 
this is the important point. In Java, we only have a key to quit signed integer, not unsigned. So we can't do this problem with integer. So we have to take it as long. So long any uh, long uh, n equal to nine. And what we have to do is we have to flip the bits. So what can be the possible solution is uh, we can write this nine in in bits in 32 bits so 9 in 32 bits will be all zeros set last and double zero one it is 2 power 0 2 power 0 is nothing but 1 2 power 1 2 power 2 2 power 3 2 power 3 is 8 8 plus 1 is 9 this is the binary representation of 9 so what what can we do is we can take all ones 32 bit ones and if we exclusive if we do exclusive or with this all ones what we will get is 0 exclusive or 1 is nothing but 1 again 0 exclusive or 1 is 1 so like this we will get all ones for all zeros so all these zeros will be converted into ones and then when we get here one then here also definitely there will be one as we are all we are taking 32 ones we are taking 32 ones so this one and ex, uh, one exclusive or with one is zero so in place of one we will get zero and uh, in place of these two zeros again we will get two ones and then in place of this one we will get zero so what we can do is we can take this 32 bit uh, 32 ones and we can exclusive uh, we can do exclusive or with the given number so that we get the result as bits flipped so one way to find this uh, one way to find this uh, this uh, this number is nothing but uh, let me tell you uh, let us call it as number in shortcut i am writing it as num this is nothing but 32 ones which can be equal to 2 power 32 minus 1 this is because 2 power 32 is 1 followed by 32 zeros one followed by 32 zeros this is 2 power 32 and 2 power 32 minus 1 2 power 32 minus 1 is nothing but 32 ones Nothing but 32 ones. So we need to exclusively R with 32 ones. That means we can uh, find it with this number 2, 2 power 32 minus 1. But we have to calculate 2 power 32. If we do it with uh, math.pow method, it will take a lot of time. So what can we do? is uh, with the bit manipulation we can take one and then we can do left shift 32 times so this number is nothing but 2 power 32 what we, uh, what we can do is uh, further uh, we can do minus one so this is nothing but 2 power 32 minus one which in turn will contain 31 ones let me print the thing i am printing this uh, number that we have to do exclusive or with but here it is showing as zero please note this uh, it will give zero because we are moving 
sorry we are left shifting it's happy to do it integer the size of number will be only 32 uh, 32 bits so we can't do this it will give a wrong answer so what we can do is we can place a l here so we have to do it with wrong numbers so when we keep l here then it won't be it won't give any wrong result it will give accurately the this is nothing but the decimal differentiation of this cut to ones so our answer will be is uh, easy then exclusive r per num per number that is the thing so for n we have to get 4294967286 so that is the thing we have got 42949672986 so same number we have got let's take for another inputs as well let's take this number if n is that number then the output should be 24648 that thing i will paste here okay this is same as this so our code is working Let's see for another uh, example. So one, we place one here, then our output should be four two nine four. This number, it's nothing but this number four two nine six and this. These are also same, and this will this will also be definitely same. Input output should be last nine to five. That is the number we have got. So it is working fine. We can uh, submit it as well. We have to return n x to the r with num. That is the solution. As you can see, it it is passing all the test cases, and we can also do this problem with other methods as well. This is the first method. Method. And this now we are going to discuss the second method. Second method. In second method, what we can do is we can take an array of uh, we can take an array in which we can store these digits. And they can, I can, and we can flip them directly so that if uh, let's let us consider that we have taken an array, and what we can do is we can set this all these bits into array so that latter point of time, what we can do is we can uh, flip these bits. If we have zero, then we can make it as one, and if we have one, then we can make it as zero. So in that way, we can solve this problem again. Long n equal to let's take it as nine only. While we are writing a loop to get the number of digits. Let's create an array. We can create the integer array only because uh, the array will contain only zeros and ones. So we can take it as integer array or byte array, anything you want. So integer array equal to new. 
the size of array should be 32 because uh, we have to store 32 bits in the array. Let us initialize the index as 0. Int uh, last digit. In central 10. So n percentile 10 is nothing but uh, n percentile 10 is nothing but the last digit of the number n. So if we have let's say example 578, if we divide it by 10, then the remainder will be 8. So like this, if we calculate the remainder, then always it will be the last digit of the number. So with this, we are getting the last digit of the numbers. And after getting the last digit of n, we have next to we have to get the second last digit, which is, which is nothing but seven. So what we can do is we can divide the n by 10 so that uh, we get rid of last digit eight. So the number will be 57 in next iteration. And again, if we do percentile 10, then we will get the last digit, which is 7. So each of these digits can be added to our array. Array of index equal to last digit. And we can increment the index every time so that uh, it will be get added to all the cells of array. Then what we can do is uh, let us print the array at first. I equal to zero. I less than. Okay, it will be thirty-two size definitely. So we can directly give the size there. So I am running the code. Okay. It is giving us a possible logic conversion from long to end. Uh, since n is long and we are doing percent with percentile 10, so we get here long number and we are storing it to, into integer. So we have to explicitly type cast it. Type casting is nothing but changing the data type. So here long is converted to pink and there's the integer value is stored into this last digit. Okay, what is happening here? Sorry, 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 I have written the wrong thing. Here it is n percentile two, not ten. Because I will tell you, okay, n percent two. So here also it is n equal to n by two. I wrote wrong. It should give the number as uh, what is the binary reference of nine? It is one double zero one. Okay, we are now getting one double zero one. What we are essentially doing is we are dividing it by 10, sorry, 2, and we are getting the remainder in case of binary division. Remainder, remainder in binary. So when we divide it by 2, we will get remainder in binary so that uh, the remainder will be definitely either 1 or 0. So each time we will get 1 or 0, and uh, for the next uh, binary remainder, we are dividing n by 2. So like this, we can get the all the days of the number. This is 32 bits. Further, what we can do is we can change the bits. So we can write the for loop. In this for loop, what we can do is we can array of i equal to 1 minus array of i. So if 
pi of i is 1 previously. Then what we are doing is 1 minus 1. This is previous array value and this is this one. We have placed it say here. So 1 minus 1 is 0. So what will array of i get stored with is 0. So if we have previous array of i value as 0, then 1 minus 0 will be 1. So what we are essentially doing is we are flipping the bits with this line. So let's print the array after flipping the bits. Line, write a new line so that we don't get confused. As you can see this, uh, we got our bits flip. What is the, our next thing will be, we have to convert this flipped bits array into our uh, requiring resulted number. So we have to convert it into number. So what we can do is long answer. Initialize the answer with zero. You have to take it on long only because uh, it is that two bit number. What we can do, uh, we have to convert this uh, binary number, which is in array, to decimal uh, long number. So what we can do, we have to do is uh, we have to multiply it with powers of two. Instead of instead of uh, Okay, here only we can do that. Here we have flipped the bits in this line. In next line, what I am doing is if after flipping if the bit is one, that means we have to we have to make uh, we have to multiply it with powers of two. So this will be multiplied with two power zero. This will be multiplied with two power one. This will be multiplied with uh, 2 power 2, like this all bits are multiplied, but we can ignore this uh, multiplication of 0 bits because 0 into 2 power uh, anything will be definitely 0. So we can ignore that and uh, I am writing this condition for this, for that thing. When it is 1, we can find the, uh, find the power of that, that bit. In order to get our uh, decimal representation, so we have to power it with the index of the bit. So, what we can do is answer equal to answer. Previous answer, uh, at first definitely it will be zero. So, answer equal to answer plus current bit value. Current bit value is nothing but one. F shift index. Okay, here uh, with i since we are uh, using i for the index. So what it is uh, doing is it is finding two power i, and we are adding two power i to this previous answer so that we can get the number. Let me copy this. print answer equal to answer for 9 we have to get answer as what 7 to 8 9 6 at last 7 to 8 9 6 sorry 7 to 8 6 it is okay we are getting the answer it has correct so instead of printing this, we can we don't need to print this. We can submit this answer. We can submit this solution in hacker angle.
here n is already given so we did not we don't need to declare it i am going it zero last this will be correct okay at last we have to return answer that is the thing we have to do so at last i am returning answer It should pass all test cases. Okay, it is passing all test cases, and uh, this answer is correct. This is method two of doing the same thing. Second method. Okay, I have all the. It is second method, so I can comment. Another simple solution can also be applied to this question, which is nothing but just a one-line answer. What we can do is uh, we can take this uh, 32-bit number and we can directly subtract it, subtract n from the 32-bit number. So let's uh, suppose this is our 32-bit number. Then what we can do is we can directly subtract the given number, which is nothing but let us take it as 9 only. So our bits will be this 1, double zero, 1. This will be, okay, for n it will be 1, double zero, 1, but uh, these, that, these remaining 0 bits will be on so what is happening here? Uh, these remaining zero bits will be on left side, but not on right side. This will be the case. So when we subtract one with one, let me clearly show. This is our uh, thing. We are doing subtraction. When we subtract one from this one, from above one we are subtracting one, we, what we will get is zero. From one, if we subtract zero, what we will get is one. So from one, we, if we subtract zero, we will get one. From one, if we subtract, we will get one. So if we subtract one, then the our result would be zero. And if we subtract zero, then our result would be one. So our answer can be easily known by subtraction. Zero, one, one. This this will be the number that will be as the result when we subtract the given number with our 32 bit ones. So our 32 bit ones can be easily find out. easily find out from this as we have done here let me show you mm, this is 32 bit ones let me print the thing will output the 32 bit 32 ones okay 32 ones is nothing but this number so we can copy this let's take n as this one and our 32 bit number is let's call it as one and it will be this number this is 32 bit 32 ones so our answer will be just a subtraction of these numbers, both numbers as num will be always greater, num minus our given n. This will be the answer. We can comment it out. This is third method. Third method, third method of solving the same question. Okay, num is too large. What happened? Okay. It is by default it is taking it as considering it as uh, considering it as integer so what we can do is we can add an l which denotes that it is a long literal 
now it won't give any error c for 9 the answer should be 7286 at last the answer for 9 is 7286 at last so we got it we can submit this as well I am submitting this solution also here. Here n is already given, so we don't need to declare it and we have to return sum minus n which is already given so it should pass all the test cases i'm submitting it okay as you can see that it is passing all test cases So this is the so this is three solutions uh, for this question guys in the next video we will come up with another solution for another problem until then bye bye